it was a big break. Like, I had a page up and I had information. I thought I'd read it. You know, Hopper enthusiast. I'll take that. That's fine. I don't mind that. Hopper, Hopper's a nice guy. It's a good title. All right. Fuel versus Toronto. Defiant. Rose, this is a this is a this is a hyped up game. Like yeah. we got some crazy players on either side. Spoke a little bit about Toronto uh, earlier on in the day, but oh man, other players this season looking crazy, and now we have two of the best playing against each other in Twilight and Filter. Yes, oh my goodness. Overwatch 2 has been absolutely no joke when it's come down to how impactful and how tangible we can see that impact from these support players, especially those Anas with those sleep darts, those bio nades. They can swing team fights so quickly. And so to see two of the most proficient Anas in the league so far go head to head, I am so stoked, Jaws. It's going to be a great match. Yep. It's going to be insane. And you know what makes it a little bit more insane? Let's have a look at Dallas Fuel starters. Who's playing in DPS today? True. We got Edison. And we also have... It's not Sparkle today. We got Doha stepping in. Han Binfielder and Chiyo, obviously, rounding out the roster. But I'm excited. Little Doha and Edison. Okay, okay. Haven't seen much of him at all. <laughs> Rose. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, it's mostly been Sparkle. It's mostly been Sparkle, yeah. so I feel like we could potentially see some interesting hero picks. But, you know, our desk seems pretty confident in the Dallas Fuel reigning supreme in this series. So maybe this is also just a little bit of a experiment for the Dallas Fuel. Yeah, we have seen rising popularity the Sombra and Doha, most famously one of his best heroes, has True. been the Sombra. So might see a little bit of here and there. We are going to Oasis, our first map. I wouldn't say Sombra's crazy good uh, on that map. And in control in general, sometimes it's a bit hard to find value, especially from like EMP. Sombra's a bit more of a slower paced hero. Unless you're just like perma in the back line, hacking people and then diving on them. But hack works differently now. You're only in, it's like, it's like a small interrupt kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So interesting to see what they're going to play. They are playing against the Toronto Defiant. The Heese, like Zoe said, is definitely least, and it's been unreal seeing Heese play. DPS very much empowered, and you can see it in Toronto's performance recently. Two and one, exactly the same as the Fuel coming into this week. Although Muse, uh, Chorong, and Twilight in that backline. Already said about Twilight and Filter, like some of the best honor players in the world facing up against each other now. Yeah, that's gonna be an absolute showdown, but but also the fact that we've got Hanbin versus Muse, I think across the board, this is gonna be a really big test of strength for both of these teams. We have Roll Stars playing against each other with heroes that they are so well known for. The biggest difference is obviously coming through from that DPS lineup on both teams, but Hanbin and Muse, sure to be a big showdown. And of course the back lines is gonna be really, really fun to watch. Yeah, I've, I've been mad impressed with uh, Toronto Defiance backline. Chorong and Twilight, their ability to keep each other alive. We saw shades of that in the last series, Rose, where you're like nanoing your brig <laughs> to make sure she can survive. She's swinging away. You're nading yourself, getting that, in, like the ridiculous amount of healing from Inspire plus the uh, upping of the healing from the, from the bio grenade. Like, it's insane. And Chorong and Twilight doing just that too, except Choron mostly on the Lucio, helping Twilight and setting him up for success. Twilight was on the San Francisco Shock last year, Rose, and he only came in for things like Foskaya. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, 2 cp is not in the game anymore, so Twilight permanently in a fixture? That's what I love to see. Good honor play through and through. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Dallas Fuel though, because Doha stepping in, seeing Edison on the Reaper, Doha on the Soldier, but it for the rest of the team, Hanbin Field of Ch uh, Chio, it's the same old kind of story. Hanbin's Zarya has been astronomical. Yes. Just unbelievable results so far for this team just off the back of those bubbles. Well, I think what's really interesting about seeing the Zarya is that this is kind of a new evolution of the meta. We started with a lot of Winston Dive, which is what the Toronto Defiant are going to be playing, but Dallas Fuel have very much stuck to this flavor of that Zarya death ball brawl kind of composition and it can really be impactful when you look at those bubbles for the anti-nades but fielders out of here Yeesh. wait was that another boot no way was that another oh no, what? okay he's suing fielder <laughs> off the map edison drops on Chorong's head and does uh, end up killing him
That's a, not a good start for the Dallas Fuel. I mean, Field of Falling, you've only got Shio's health bar and uh, healing, but it doesn't really matter. Edison can heal himself, of course, with the passive, but he's going pretty low. Wraith forms away. Defiance with a quick re-engage. Don't want to give up the point, because the stalling potential from the Fuel is quite massive. Yeah, I mean, we will see Edison get pushed back quite a bit, which is really what you want to be having in the front line. Doha, though, with a big pick and opening onto Hisu with then use out of the equation also. They're really large. We're playing off on the high ground so nice. Feel the soldier. Not only can you use your healing station, there's a miniature health pack behind you. Doha cleaning way, up. Right? Try to find, let go of the point that Dallas Fuel are now in control. Already, jeez. I mean, Chiyo's old charge, Chong's old charge. Pretty similar, of course. They got those boots at the very beginning. That's a lot of ult. Um, when you do find a target to boop off the map, you get that entire, the remaining health. True. Um, as ult charge. So you got the beat online first. Not something you normally see from the Lucio. But look, Twilight already has a nano. Way outpaces yeah. Fielder right now. Yeah, third about 20% away. There's the beat for the engage. Primal Rage and the Pulse Bomb available. Shio takes care of Twilight. The Nano's used onto Muse, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Like, uh, I mean, Muse gets a nice little double kill there. Can he follow up with anything? Edison's going to survive, plus the protection from Hanbin and the speed from Shio. There's not much else Muse can do. As soon as that Prime and that Nano run out, the Dallas Fuel heading into the next fight with a Death Blossom, a Nano, and a Grab. That's a lot of ultimates and a lot of potential. Dallas even just ripping the grab now. Like what I see, Nano onto 100 energy, Hanbin running them down. The B is going to be used from the Defiant. And a nice sleep from Twilight makes sure Hanbin can't get any more dirty work done. Edison moving his way to the back line, maybe to get a Death Blossom. There it is, surprising the support line. The Toronto Defiant didn't see that one coming. And that'll be Muse escorting himself out of the fight. There is a Tracer, a pesky little one, in the back line. But uh, although it's not going to get too much stuff done, the Heese is now lease to a different pasture. The Dallas Fuel, they're going to continue to hold the point 20% to go before they take University. Still could come back. Toronto Defiant do change Hisu over to the Reaper just to provide a little bit more frontline pressure. Aldo needs to get this Pulse Bomb up and online and also find something with it. Almost there. Almost. Although, 10% away from that Pulse Bomb. Oh, man, Mew just got obliterated. Reaper still does a lot of damage if he's up uh, up close and personal, especially with that big head hitbox of Winston. Overtime is here. Can Define get anything done? Doesn't look like it. He's a strong and dead, although is gone. And the Fuel, they're going to take University just like that. Love that you bring up how impactful the Reaper can be against a Winston, because we've classically seen Reaper as a counterpick to Winston. Whether you're up close and personal or not, that poor Winston ends up being a massive alt battery for that Reaper. And especially when you're being protected by Azaria Bubble, it's not super easy to get rid of that Reaper. And also, you might not be able to jump away if you don't have cooldowns online. So pretty big stuff from the Dallas Fuel. Toronto Defiant, they're going to need to change how they play with that Winston so they don't continue to fall victim to that frontline Reaper. Speaking of Reaper, Five. new skins available, by the way, for 200 League tokens. True. Should all Reaper. It looks crazy cool. Let's hop on and get that, actually. Thank you for the reminder, production. <laughs> that <laughs> reminds me I need to go, go ahead and buy that one. All right, okay. Same kind of compositions. No one's really surprised. This time, though, you don't want to get boobed off the map first. Thoughts? Chorog uh, <laughs> and Shio, they're looking for boobs. Uh, Dallas Fuel are taking the high ground first. Look how far back. And so much respect. To find it currently paying the Dallas fuel. God, you love low energy Zarya. <laughs> 10 energy just <laughs> tickling the Winston in the front line. But just setting up your DPS for success, using those bubbles to make sure Edison stays alive is just another get out of jail free card. He's got the Wraith Bomb, not anymore, as although forces that out. Still a lot of healing available though. Fielder and Shio in the hut on the high ground. Good luck dislodging them. Edison caught unawares, no Wraith Bomb to help him escort himself away. Harpin going pretty low, but sitting himself in that uh, healing station, keeping himself up alive and well, and uh, donating a little bit of charge to Doha, who now is in a little bit of trouble. I say that as Shio poops all the way away. An unbelievable out of peel for the Zarya, but you're going to need it now as Fielder ends up going down. A big poop, but no one goes. Oh my word, I thought Tron got a double kill. Didn't end up happening. A 
Pulse Bomb from Orvo, but the fight is pretty much done. Another healing station to keep Doha alive. He's 1 HP, scurries back to the rest of his team. The Fuel eventually cap the point. And Orvo just got denied so often there. He, he couldn't do anything in that fight. That was so tough to watch. I mean... 22% towards a Pulse Bomb is not very much for a Tracer after that first fight. Doha, in fact, did so much kiting and was able to still do so much damage. Already been rewarded with the Tactical Visor. The Nano Visor is online for the Dallas Fuel. And with the setup that they have on the high ground right now, that's a team fight one. Yeah, I mean, instantly. You don't want to use anything more. You don't really need to. Although is peppering you from the sideline, but it's a dash of pepper, not anything that'll actually make you sneeze and maybe die. Forty percent already. I mean, the Dallas Fuel Rose. They got five bolts. That's a lot to choose from. Definitely, probably using the tactical visor and the nano first to see what they can get done. Unless Hanbin finds an opportunity to just go ahead and throw this grab as Toronto Defiance start to walk in. It could very well. Oh my god! Oh, see ya! He super popped that visor. He was in the air and field and just popped him one. Edison with a nice double double kill with oh. Death Blossom. This is just an absolute steamroll. Toronto Defiance right now getting their back blown out like a glow stick, Rose. That was so painful for Hisu. You know, you heard the, the alt go off and then all of a sudden Hisu was dead. And Dallas Fuel only had to use one ultimate there. And so when you look at this as being last fight territory and everybody's got to use everything. Oh my gosh, the nano visor too here. Speaking of everything, there's an Anavisor and the beat in response. Doha trying to chase it down. Hisu can't quite find him, give him a bit of a run around. But that's okay. I mean, the rest of your team is still doing work. Stray missiles kill Filder and Shio ends up going down also. Hisu doing a ton of work. Didn't need to use the visor. Those Helix rockets killed, Fil uh, killed Filder from afar. It's all ultimates burn from the Dallas Fuel to try and win this map. The Toronto Defiant are making their stand. Well, they did the same thing. They used everything to be able to grab that point. Now they have no room for error. Unfortunately, the Dallas Fuel overextended in that last fight. And so Toronto Defiant were able to find more value, especially with Muse popping the Primal Rage. But look at how low Chorong and Muse are getting on the Toronto Defiant before Dallas Fuel even really come in for an honorable engagement. Yeah, it's still pretty hard point to assault. Oh. There's his teleport from Edison. Still has the Wraith form. Backs up. And now it's got no cooldowns to spare, so it has to play a little bit more safe. Visor used as that bubble does end up fading away in Hisu. Just making sure the Dallas Fuel pay them respect now. Oh, Hanbin going low too. That was a really nice use of the tactical visor there, Rose. One person from the Dallas Fuel was already on the point, and the rest of them had to back up because they don't want to get mowed down. Although pretty low, we're now actually dead. A right click from Hanbin sends him back to spawn. There's the nano boost onto Doha. 2% away from that old. Can he find the bullets? Yes, he can. He can pop it. He won't have that nano damage boost, but I don't think it's going to matter. Anybody that drops on the point is going to get melted. Both supports the Toronto Defy now in trouble. Ch uh, Chorong trying to get to the point to trigger OT. They do just that, but it is slowly slipping away. Although it's back in the action but quickly dispatched with. There's no way they get back to the point in time now. They got no ults to really work with. They could potentially get a sound barrier is 10% away, but Dallas Fuel not gonna let that happen. A quick clean 2-0 on Oasis to start the series. This Zarya Reaper comp is giving Toronto Defiant a lot of trouble. So it's no surprise that Dallas Fuel are continuing to stick to it because it's been working, not just against the Toronto Defiant so far, but other teams as well. Is it going to continue to work, though, as we go into future maps in the series? I think that's the big question. Yeah, is Doha going to remain in the roster too? I mean, after that performance, True. I mean, why not? We'll have to wait and see, of course. We're going to jump to a quick break. We'll see you in a sec.
ああ、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、兄、
your family watch Obo Chili? Yeah. yeah. You too? Yeah, you too? You, you too? Yeah. <coughs> All Saudi watch. Big, 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 big. <laughs> All Saudi watch? Yes. O only you? Because you? Yes. Only Overwatch League player. Yeah, I agree. Hey, why are you doing this? I'm not starting. I'm just saying. Come here, come here. 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 Just second general. Me. I'm the one that choose baby wife sometimes. Your baby. Yeah. And your baby. Oh, it's cold. Ah, cold. First, the tone is a little bit cold. Hand warmers are up here. Your hands are actually cold. Yeah. Not anymore. Oh, not anymore. Now they're warm now. That's what the hand warmer does. It warms up your cold hands. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's in the name, but yeah. I can see where you got like confused about it. It's like kind of easy to misunderstand sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Oh, it's not this Oh, Hey, I'm Mindo. You choke. Welcome back. Comms check has to be one of my favorite things the award <laughs> does, the bits of content we run in between. It's amazing. I especially love when I see Pelican screaming randomly. I <laughs> uh, don't know what that was about, but I loved it. It was good stuff. All right. We're deep in the series. Well, kind of. We're one map in, but Dallas Feel 2 0 on the first map, Oasis against the Toronto Defiant. We do have a sub, the man, the myth, the legend. There he is. I'm a hopper stan and I'm a hopper fan. Let me give you a fact. Let me give you a hopper uh -huh. fact, Rose. You ready? I'm All ready. Right. Did you know hopper to play Overwatch uses a mouse and a keyboard? Crazy, right? Crazy. Not many people knew that. I. Okay. Yep. That's. <laughs> yep. That is profound, Jaws. It is. Profound. Yeah. I know. I was, I was potentially the only person that knew that. It would have been even crazier <laughs> if I said, oh, I use a controller. That would actually be really ridiculous. cool. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're going on King's Row. Fan favorite. So there's that small change. We aren't seeing Dallas Fuel with any changes, though, Rose. Looks like they're going to continue to roll out with Doha. And I mean, it looked pretty good before, so why not keep it in? I like that they're switching up here, because I wonder when we were going to actually see Doha, because he's always been, like I mentioned before, like this Sombra player who is exceptional at the pick. But then you have Spark and Edison now, who are just also unbelievable and can cover a lot of what Doha also played. Well, maybe it was just giving Doha some time to be able to build up to playing uh, and being more integrated into the Dallas Fuel roster. We've got to talk about the Toronto Defiant, though, because they're already walking out of their defensive spawn. And Hotba subbing in means we've got Hotba Zarya. And so Toronto Defiant obviously saw how effective that composition was against them. And so they're running it back. They're giving it back to the Dallas Fuel here, Jaws. That could be pretty big for the Toronto Defiant. Ready to rumble. I've never heard that voice line before. Yeah. You needed that bubble. Oh my word. That is almost got dominated. 3 HP and a dream. Escapes with his life. Only just. Nice little teleport though to try and put a little bit of pressure on Tehisu. So what you want to do, just get these big rotations. I love the use of the bubbles from Heartbeat. We spoke a little bit about before giving Hop, uh, giving Edison basically an extra life. Hopper subbed in and uh, yeah, it's owned unfortunately. However, Zerata Defiant might be able to go for a recontest. Sharon is alive. So speed boost in, potential, but it doesn't look like it. They're a little bit too far away at this point. Yeah. What a quick cap, I feel. Super quick cap that Payload's gonna unlock and they're gonna get the show on the road. But where Toronto Defiant get to defend from now is one of the best defensive points on the map, which is this corner right by Bookstore. Especially when you've got this straightaway down mid where you're able to shoot so much damage. Toronto Defiant really are looking to try to increase their ultimate availability. They don't have a lot to work with right now. Even Twilight, not at that nano yet. Fielder's already using his. Yeah, oh man. Speed boost, Nano Zarya, about 80, 90 energy. That's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, denied. <laughs> oh, although, that's, uh, he still get. how does he get that kill? I don't know. Uh, Tohar does die, although, uh, although eventually killed off. 
even after those bubbles. Uh, I don't know how Doha went down. There you go, already getting the payload to second point almost. This is insane, and uh, having that nano on board and online, that's 10% away for Grav compared to Hopper 67. Maybe Twilight's nano can change that. If that does get donated over to Hotba, could be Grav versus Grav, but as it stands, Dallas Fuel already has it online, and Doha is right with that TAC visor too. There it is, a beautiful double tap from Edison. Does end up going down. He uses the visor to try and recover this fight. Edison and Chio fall, but it's a good trade. It's now Hisu versus Doha. Hanbin, hey, ain't gonna happen, my friend. Nice visor, but it wasn't enough to stop the assault of the Dallas Fuel. Nice cap onto second point. Five minutes and 40 seconds going in. That is what you want to see if you're a Fuel fan. My word. I think that was good, too, because Dallas Fuel capped that and so they got the closer spawn as well so not too many of them having to walk really far away but Toronto Defiant have forced Dallas Fuel to use quite a few ultimates so they've got some that they can fire back with here like this sound barrier. There is a beat and a grab that's what we wanted to see but a bubble on heads and keeps him alive but not for long. Toronto Defiant now making a stand. All they needed was the Graviton Surge. Harmony is 100 NG. He's got Nano in the back. Yeah, Builder applies Nano straight to Harmony. Now he's just running the enemy team. He's got bubbles to spare. Oh, he doesn't quite get it off, though, as Twilight hits him with the sleep. But the rest of the team are backing up Harmony and killing off the rest. Although he does end up falling. And the Dallas Fuel still in control of the payload. These Nanos from Fielder have been so good. Harmony now 10% away from yet another Grav, Rose. They have been cycling through so fast, and this could be exactly what the Dallas will need to just push this cart right over the edge and capture that third point. Although, look at how much damage they take trying to teleport up to the high ground. Ooh. Yeah, Hopper back it off real fast, although has got the Nano with Doha on the flank. Oh my goodness. He got turned into like a couple of molecules there. Although got the bubble, hit them with the Nano Blossom. Toronto Defiant still in a good spot, and that gave a lot of time to Hopper to build up to a grab of his own. Now they have grab tactical visor. That could be a very powerful combination to keep this defense alive, but there's still four minutes that the Toronto Defiant need to chew through to stop Dallas Fuel from capping this third and final point, where Hanbin, Edison, they're ready to go with an ultimate combination of their own. That... Zarya Grav, Reaper Death Blossom can be pretty powerful if you're able to land it. There's the grab. Double grab, universe created. Edison dies, Hanbin follows. That's the picks that you want. No way the fuel push this one, even with the kill onto Hopper, who was grabbed. Nice trade. I really like that if I'm a uh, defiant. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Hanbin ooh. switching over to Rakhain. What? Okay. I'm okay with this. Hanbin hammer? I don't even think you need the hammer. I think it's just the shield right now. You can deny so many angles coming in from the high ground right now. Double beat, Doha already dead. Edison boomed up into the high ground. That's so much damage negated just from one boot. Chorong popping off. Hanbin uh, is alive in the front line, but he hasn't really got too much damage to back him up, and he has to back away. Two minutes and 45 seconds remains from their five minutes and 40 seconds from before. Three minutes burned away. Oh, we talked about Twilight and Fielder being super impressive. What about Chio and Chorong? Both of these Lucios have been so fun to watch, and especially when it comes to the boops to just displace members, whether it's getting an environmental kill or just negating an entire Death Blossom. That's so cool to see the impact of these Lucios. But let's see Doha's impact here. Advisor, he's getting a little bit damaged on the back line. In fact, helping Edison. There was a nano. It was applied to Hopper. He didn't get anything done because his supports were just in trouble. They couldn't heal him and couldn't even go in with the anti-nade. The Dallas Fuel, they've switched back over to the Zarya, by the way. Harmbin was like one life wonder on the Reinhardt. Okay, we go back to the Zarya. A lot more beneficial to Edison with those bubbles. Although he's in the back line, he's going so low, already a bubble applied, and a Wraith form has been used. Fielder in a very, very strong position, and has the Nano to boot. Edison gets Nano, there's no stopping him now. No way Hopper survives the onslaught of damage about to come. There it is, 1 minute and 30 seconds in the time bank. The fuel, they entered point C, the last point, 
with what? 540? Yeah. So a extremely good defense from the Defiant there, burning off a sizable portion of the time bank. Yeah, that's four minutes. That's a lot. And we've seen a couple of teams be able to do that, but sometimes the time bank is just insurmountable, that it's inevitable that they're going to end up capping the point. Toronto Defiant obviously would have loved to be able to stop the Dallas Fuel with no time in their time bank and overtime, but it is what it is. And now the Toronto Defiant are up to bat for their own attack phase. Curious about if they decide to stick with the Zarya. It worked out pretty well for them when they were able to find their footing jaws. So almost half expecting it to come back out here too on the attack. I really like, I really do like the brick here on defense, Rose. Mm -hmm. It's very, very close knit, so you can get a lot of uh, value on the Inspire, but she has been doing so well on this Lucio. It's just going to be mirror comps again. And honestly, I, I really enjoy mirror comps. It really does show uh, how impactful, like, the ultimates are, especially, yeah. like, Nano Visor, for example, or just, like, sorry, Visor, for example, from Doha. It's been an ultimate that we haven't seen a whole bunch in this series yet. The oh, sorry, this map yet. The Nano Visor has mainly been nanoing Hanbin when he has high energy, or nanoing Hopper when he has high energy to build up those grabs quicker. A very different approach to how we've seen it thus far. But it's working out really well for both of these teams to get those Graviton Surges online that much faster. Or just making sure that these Reapers can survive to keep pushing pressure onto the front line. Edison gets so up close and personal with the Defiant. You can because you have the bubbles to back you up, right? And that's the best thing about it. Yeah. Those boosts can be quite impactful around these corners, Rose, too. It's worth keeping in mind, if Chio's in a position where he can boot people past this gate, you can almost, if you're hunting, you can basically body block people. That's true. Deny those sidelines with a bubble on yourself, um, so Twilight can't hit the darts on the players that have been booted in. Yeah, that's true, and we've definitely seen some body blocking happen, whether it's kind of a cycle between Edison being in the front or Hanbin being in the front with those bubbles. It has been very difficult for Twilight and Chorong to really get that healing in unless the Toronto Defiant are backing up here. Edison gets so low, though. You know, so does Although, he has to use that right to get away. See what I mean? These boobs from Shio are so good. Oh, oh, not a time for your bubble to run out, Hopper. Not when there's a Nano Reaper up in your face. He hasn't got Rage for. That's super unlucky. Edison does go down. The tactical visor from Doha is going to get used. Jumps on top of the statue. Ain't no need to aim when you've got that visor online. Kill on to Twilight from Shio is going to be good. It means the Defiant are going to have to back off once again. Harbin's going to rely on this ultimate for the next fight. Uh, they have beat, but if they just get a clean grab, they might not even need to use it. Hanbin has been doing so good with the aggressive grabs as well. Like, look there at that. <laughs> See ya. They don't See ya. need it. They don't need the sound barrier. No, I mean, speaking of sound barriers, Rose Chong's beat last fight. I didn't actually notice where it went. It, I, it did, wasn't impactful at all. Clearly did nothing. But yeah, exactly. Like, it did nothing, right? I mean, that's what happened. Oh, uh, the heat is lease. Huh? Where is he going? He's chilling. Oh, he's... <laughs> Is it, does anybody know? <laughs> uh, well, I guess they will now, but... Well, I, I, this is interesting. If Hisu doesn't get found out here, maybe that tactical visor comes through from the long haul, but Hisu has moved up from the bookstore. There's a high energy Zarya, Hanbin and Edison trying to make a reservation in the hotel and they make it, although ends up going down. Nice little beat to follow up. This should be an easy fight win for the fuel. Alt cycling has just been perfect from Dallas up yeah. until this point. I mean, you use B in that fight, you use nothing else, you wipe the Toronto Defiant. He's so mad, would it make a switch to try and get an instant kill? Switches back to the soldier. Like the Defiant with one minute to go. They've got a lot of ults coming online but Dallas fuel like for like almost uh, and especially if you maybe preserve the Reaper death blossom but look Edison wants to use it here maybe getting a chance to remove Hoppa before the grab comes through there's the nano and the visor can't hide behind that post box for too long my friend 
Weiler and Hopper end up going down and Defiant with 30 seconds to go. Need to find their way past not only a Grav, a Death Blossom on top of that. If they get this beat, it could be big, but you have to make sure Hopper has these bubbles if he tanks this Grav, Rose. Yeah. If he doesn't, it's going to be all over. There's 20 seconds to go as Hopper is posturing to try and go for an engagement, but this Death Blossom could be deadly. If Edison finds what he did before, it could be big. There's a nice grab. It finds three. The beat's going to come out, although gets slept, but instantly woken up. The Nano applied. The Death Blossom kills two, and that was the opening Defiant needed. The Dallas Fuel, they find a big grab. The Charon's beat came online just in time. OT, it's here, but Defiant, they got the point. What a big saving grace there, Tron being able to get that sound barrier online. Toronto Defiant really stood no chance if they didn't have that extra sustain on top of the Graviton Surge that came out from Hanbin. Because Dallas Fuel could have had the opportunity to go for that Grav Death Blossom combo. And as it stands, Edison wants to use this Death Blossom soon. He's held onto it for two team fights now. And with the bubble, might feel confident enough to go in and use it and at least be able to hold Toronto to find at the door but also what's this although on the May here yeah the base pretty good in this point of the map because you can just Ooh, you can oh, 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 your entire team as the dead blossom killed you guys oh my oh no and it's a better type thanks for that wall in the chat that was a really nice walling concept but uh edison just hitting the queue as soon as he landed on top of it oh disaster strikes Oh no, I mean, there's still a minute and a half remaining. Hotpo working up to a Graviton Surge, but Fielder has that Nano, and we've seen that Nano get given over to Han Bin Zarya to build up to the grab for their own. But it's on Edison this time, big purple. Huge purple, that wall came up, and although fell down, that was a two hit from Edison. No healing that, especially when Reaper's that close to you. All those pellets are going to hit you. With the nano boost, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Defiant find themselves in a similar situation, uh, further away from this ch uh, this second checkpoint than they'd like. 50 uh, seconds now remain. They've made their way into the final wall available. There's the grab. It's massive. The beat's going to do a good job, but not when a nade lands straight on top of you. That's what you want to see. Defiance with a good wall, a good grab. And they're getting the payload going. But can they get it to the second point? Dallas Fuel are going to at least have a couple of fights here, Rose. They will be able to come back and contest. Twilight obviously trying to move the cart forward as the rest of the Toronto Defiant get aggressive and try to stop the Dallas Fuel from being able to push that cart into a pretty awkward position. They really want to get that payload to the second objective. Look at where they're standing right now, posturing to be able to use this sound barrier in response to the grab and also hoping that the blizzard comes online here for the Toronto Defiant. Grabs okay, it gets Hisu, but the beat instantly comes out after that. He had great form too, so he was more than safe. Although he's 10% away from the Blizzard, one Icicle should do it, or a headshot on Icicle should be fine. Anti-nade onto Edison, gets booed by Charon. What a flank from Orbo and the Lucio. OT is here, but Defiant chasing down Dallas Fuel. A minute and 30 seconds. They are holding on to this game. It might be a thin thread, Rose but they are holding on right now. That, capturing that point, though, with any time left in the bank is what Toronto Defiant are looking at. What? Overtime, that's not going to do it here. So... Wait, oh, oh, oh. those lost his Blizzard, by the way. Oh. I don't know oh, he where used, that went. No, he used it in that last team fight just to secure the point. But also, God, Doho... That was like a mistake. Echo? Okay. That's what you want to see from the flexible player. It was like a Death Boss would be, uh, sorry, a uh, Blizzard would be really good right now. Yeah. Like they could have used it in this fight instead. There's the wall to try and separate the team. The Death Blossom comes out, ends Twilight's life, but Nano Tisu ends Edison's. And now the Dallas Fuel collect the payload. It's theirs now. Who really deals with Doha in these situations? Uh, Easy access to high ground is extremely tough. And the value from copying a Zarya Rose is absolutely massive. Those bubbles true. do so much work. Think about how many bubbles that is. Four on your team for Doha if you want to perm the pocket. Yeah, and especially when Twilight's been hitting these nasty anti-nades. You can just refresh all of that anti off of your team if you do get that copy online. But 10 seconds remaining. So 
Dummy. Grab, hoping oh, for the blizzard. There's the wall. <laughs> there is the beat. It's good. Hisu with the death boss in the corner. Can someone touch? No, they can't get it. Oh no, that grab and fuel playing so far up. Grabbing them all in that corner. Oh, the Toronto to fire oh. unable to touch the payload. You saw Ordo and Chorong just trying as they must. Oh, that's unfortunate so stuff. Painful. For how far they made it, Rose, like that looked like maybe they get it uh, in OT. But it is the Dallas Fuel with superior positioning at the very end, claiming King's Row 2 0 in the series. A lot different from what Control was. The Toronto Defiant fighting back. Can they get it in our next map? We'll have to wait and see after this break.
the shadows and the top rope. Don't forget to pick up Luchador Reaper. It's the kickoff clash legendary skin. That's going on sale through June 25th. So you've got a little while to grab it. It's for 200 league tokens. Remember, you get tokens for watching too. So make sure you uh, connect your Battle.net account and uh, you can pick yourself up this skin. I mean, it looks crazy. It's definitely one of my so favorite good. Reaper skins. Although I do like Plague Doctor. Does that make me edgy if I like Plague Doctor? I don't know. I don't play much Reaper, to be fair. I do like Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor is really yeah, good. Pretty I think cool. Doors, but... That one's my new favorite, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. By the way, um, if you uh, started the season and you looked at the rosters and you were like, wow, Dallas has a lot of DPS players. When are they going to get played? Well, apparently today is that day. Doha is premier game. Um, we had Axie's actually premier game a little bit earlier on. And now we have their fourth DPS stepping in. Gudio is now in the server alongside Edison. So great. I love seeing the players that they have on their bench. I was always curious how they were going to mix and match different Widow DPS players maker. this season, Rose. So there we go. Widowmaker. We're going to Circuit Royale. It's got to be Widowmaker. Please give me the Gurio Widowmaker. I want nothing more in my life right now than Gurio Widowmaker. <laughs> I hope so, and I hope he smashes him too, because yeah. <laughs> rookie versus veteran, like, that's a heck of an introduction for the young okay. player. Circle Royale is, a, is an interesting map, and I love playing Widowmaker on this, uh, on this first point. It feels really nice, but then when you get to second, it becomes so much tougher Ready for the attacking Widow, because you are fighting up. Mount Everest, it might as well be. Like, the angle you have to look up to see people's heads on, uh, on Widow, it's pretty tough. And yeah. it does look like... There you go. You, you've got uh, your wish. Good old Widowmaker. Eddie on the Tracer. Hanbin Sigma. Another pick that we see on this map a lot yeah. is that Sigma. The ability to hold these corners and just fortify yourself down with the Zen and the and the Brigitte makes you an impossible dive target. Well, I think it's not only that, but also the fact that it's a movable barrier. You can really help to cover your angles, especially if you have a, oh, like a Widowmaker on the other wow. team. So you've got quite a few different ways that you can really support your team with that Sigma choice. I mean, we're matched across the board here, except Chorong is going to be playing that Baptiste. The Immortality Field does pose some problems for the Dallas Fuel, especially when you're looking at Hanbin trying to find value when that Gravitic Flux comes online. He's getting a nice, long angle. Problem is... You have Edison in your face, but there's also a barrier too. Whoa, Edison coming in strong already. Twilight Zen gets taken out first, followed up. Really nice control of the health packs here for Edison. It's it's tough for the Define to really push in these rooms because of the amount of spam. So you have to play the corner. And then Edison can just run to these health packs. You can receive the little cookies too from Chio. Pretty nice. I do like that. Ooh. Ooh. The Heese. Oh, no. The Heese. Potentially least. <laughs> I'll have to come back to that one in just a second. He does escape with his life, but Edison's still in the back line. Earns the, earns the first ult of the game. That Pulse Bomb yeets it straight towards Twilight and picks him up. Although although goes down to Chio and uh, that rookie taking out the veteran. He soon falls to the sharp shooter. That was Fuel holding this first corner strong. They're looking really good so far, especially when Gurio just has this great angle onto the Toronto Defiant. They really haven't been able to make any progress. Uh, big Pulse Bomb with a miss here coming through from Aldo. Hobbit does get a little low, but she would feel they're there to top Hobbit right back up. Edison is just permanently in the back line. It's giving Gurio so much room, Rose. He can peek for free. Oh, no. Take it back. Uh, Edison dies a better mind. There's the window, forcing the rest of the Dallas fuel. However, that rally is going to make sure Hanbin doesn't get insta deleted. Flux available for the tank player. Hanbin has to get out of this room. The flux onto Hanbin. He's pretty low. No mortality field. No Batiste. Hopper finishes that one strong. Hanbin falls, and they uh, finally have control of that payload. Fielder trying to stay alive for as long as possible, but it ain't going to happen. This push around the corner. This could be quite deadly. Like I said, you're basically looking at Mount Everest now if you're the opposing Widowmaker. He's who's going to have a lot on his hands. 
this is definitely a tough place to find an angle. And especially when Hanbin has that barrier as well, he's just gonna have to go on some really strange flanks or hope that that barrier goes down in order to get those quick picks. But Gurio giving a lot of information away, like where Aldo is gonna be hiding out so that Edison can go after him. Nice transcendence. Stopping that flux doing any damage. Oh, Hopper is low. Immortality going to save. He's who has the sights. But it is a slow, slow march to this payload. Just waiting for that shield to come back up. Waiting for your accretion. Body shot on the tracer, forcing the recall. And now sights. They know exactly where Gurio is. However, being this deep in the angle, pretty easy for him to hide away. Nice pulse onto Hopper. They do trade for a support, however. And Hisu finds the body shot onto Edison to finish him off. Twilight with the opening pick. The payload is so close to that point. In fact, uh, Dallas Fuel really trying to force something. Harpin goes low and uh, in response, Fielder had to pop that transcendence. Hisu goes down. That's a two to zero now in the Widowmaker duel and Harpin putting himself on this payload and just refusing to budge. Chorong, window instantly killed. Not sure about that. Oh, I mean... There's a few seconds to go, maybe, well, I mean, a few seconds, that kind of makes sense, right? Oh, Hisu kills Edison. The payload's moving back. No one's going to be able to touch, although doesn't get there. Nice little interrupt on the dash from Chiyo. And the Dallas Fuel halt Toronto to find just before that last point. Wow. Tough stuff. Wow. That was short. That was really, really short. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. Um, I mean, so what really happened there, Rose? I mean, on the Toronto Defiance side, it's pretty tough when Hisu is just getting permanently pressured yeah. by Edison. Uh, Hisu just didn't have a good time on that first point. And yeah, you could say Gurio in like the 1v1s, sure, he's winning those fights like onto Hisu. He's getting those kills. I think I think he was 2-0. to zero. Um, But when Edison is just permanently on Hisu, Hisu doesn't have the time to set up these angles. He has to go for these quick like pop drops around the corner. It's so much more beneficial to Gurio, just having that tracer on, uh, at your back, just harassing the other Widowmaker so you're easy. Uh, you have easy sight lines. It's, uh, it's a really tough situation for you to be in. And this is why Edison was such a crazy good pickup for the Dallas Fuel. Agreed. His tracer play is out of this world. It's really, really good. And you could see how Edison was able to kind of swing a lot of those fights into the Dallas Fuel's favor. I think the other thing that was just surprising to me about the lack of progress Toronto Defiant made was that Baptiste, especially getting that amplification matrix online and having Hisu's Widowmaker there as well, it should have created a lot of space, and it just didn't. And so something wasn't quite clicking there for the Toronto Defiant, especially when Hoppa did have that barrier. No, not enough space was being made either. And so regardless of whether Hisu was being uh, kept in check by Edison or not, there were some other things that just weren't quite there for the Toronto Defiant. So let's hope their defense is better. Well, they've already given up a lot of space. You saw where the fuel were able to hold in that small health pack room and holding right on the corner. Toronto Defiant, once again, it reminds me of Oasis. They were paying them so much respect. But you pay them respect and you give your Widowmaker a, a crazier sideline. He knows exactly where Hisu is. You see those orbs flying past Hisu's head. He's not full HP either, so a very quick shot from Gurio here could end his life. He spots the Zen, hits the body. That's why it will be healed up, but again, the high ground advantage now for Hanbin. Sitting behind that shield is Gurio, just looking for Hisu's noggin. Gurio is helping to delete those shields also, so Hotpa will have to put those on cooldown, but whoo, there you go. Ooh, sheesh, Hisu. Little 180, man. Ooh, little body shot, okay, okay. That's what you want to see. Yep. Still controlling the high ground of the Dallas Fuel. He still has to back away. Trying to find with the Pulse Bomb in hand. This is going to be the big turning point. If you if you end up giving up any more space, you're playing on the last corner, and Hisu gets a horrible angle to defend. He can defend from the high ground, but where the payload uh, victory box is, it's uh, not the best, especially to get a sideline on an attacking Widowmaker. 
Here's some of the balls. Oh, Peace, goodbye. Oh, oh. No. Oh. There's the lamp to save, but now Harbin, oh, unfortunately, ends up going down to Hisu headshot. That would have been pretty clean if Harbin managed to get up, uh, get up that extra 20% for the flux, but Hisu with a very, very nice return kill. This is exactly the type of defense we want to see, and now we're coming up on ultimates, though, so this is where things get a little bit hairy, but Hanbin getting the Gravitic Flux online potentially soon. We'll have to deal with Chorong with the Immortality Field and Twilight as well with the Transcendence. Bueller had the Transcendence up for Hoppa's no Gravitic Flux, and so here it comes. Lamp has already been used, now Harmbing can unleash the Flux. I still has to worry about that Transcendence. There it is, Transcendence used, hits everybody. And now they're all alive and well. Although had to recall in the back line, but now with the charge on forward, the surge from the fuel. They use the rally, everybody's rather healthy. Hopper gets flattened like a flat pack box. Although still contesting the payload with a pulse spot is going to be quite annoying to deal with. But the rest of his team are just in shambles. Edison finishing up the kill onto Ortho and the Toronto Defiant needs to be able to touch. But it's looking rather unwinnable as Harmon is basically in their spawn. Support's dead. The Doom Fist from Hopper. He He's a mouse and keyboard, but he might as well be using a controller. There it is. The Defiant end up falling on Circuit Royale, and the Dallas Fuel end up 3 0 -ing. Oh boy. Wow, what a series for the Dallas Fuel. After especially that uh, loss to the Houston Outlaws at the beginning of the season, Dallas Fuel have not dropped since then. Definitely took uh, some lessons from that loss and have been able to apply them to future series. And especially when you look at Doha and Gurio making their debuts this season of the Overwatch League after Sparkle has been performing really, really well as well. I mean, look how happy Gurio looks too to have won that map. <laughs> First win, let's go. <laughs> That's a whole lot of pressure relieved, right? I yes. mean, you're gonna be nervous. You're going against veteran. I pointed it out versus Hisu in the Widow 1v1. You're going against a veteran player. Brand new rookie stepping into the league this season. Gurio finds his first win. And Doha, of course, a returning bet, finding his first win of the season too. A nice 3-0 from the Dallas Fuel today. They're 3-1 overall this season. Who is the player of the match? Let's take a little look. I think I know who it's going to be, though, Rose. It's got to be Chico. Not because we, we, it's got to be. It's got to be Chico. Uh, <laughs> we were like, hey, Chico's pretty good. Look at there that. Boom. That was a really nice boom for the very start of the series. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not even just that, though. Uh, yes, Chio has been able to get some flashy kills, some big picks, and of course, like those environmentals are always such a treat to watch, but look Ooh, at these nice. boops. To be able to just place members into Graviton Surges from Hanbin or just remove people from the cart. We talked about how these Lucios can be so good at just being able to create space for the team. And so Chio, definitely a big part of that. Yeah, big part of the team and a big pickup for the fuel. Slotted in perfectly. Mm -hmm. He's been playing extremely well. And in a game right now that is so, so quick, the the Lucio, it, you have to have a Lucio player on your team. Yeah. Right? That's what it feels like right now. Having a Lucio player that you know you can rely on. And that's exactly what Chio is. 3-1 in the in the in the season so far for the Dallas Field. Uh, Kickoff flash just around the corner rows. Like they are looking extremely good. Toronto fight, go to two and two. Still a team that has a lot of potential. Absolutely. Rose, I think we're going to see a lot more from them. Absolutely. The Toronto Defiant are not done yet. And I think that this was just a pretty strong matchup for both of these teams in terms of, well, they're two really good teams right now as we're just kicking off the very first quarter of the Overwatch League season. And so teams are still trying to figure each other out. And I think that Dallas Fuel just ended up getting off to a really strong start playing that Reaper Zarya combo against that Winston from the Toronto Defiant. That was a really tough loss to have under the belt to just kick off this series overall. Yeah, it did feel really rough uh, playing against uh, Edison's Nano Reaper some of the time. <laughs> like, that's a whole lot of damage. There you go. The Dallas Fuel 3-0. The Toronto Defiant, they're continuing their steamroll this season. We're going to jump to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be breaking down those games after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Upper Deck, the official trading card of the Overwatch League. 
and by TeamSpeak, the official voice supplier of the Overwatch League. Welcome to the Poe Show, everybody. We're here now, joined by Edison from Dallas Fuel. Hello, Edison. Thank you so much, and of course, congratulations on the win today. Edison, so interview에 응해 주셔서 너무 감사드리고 일단 자기 소개 한번 해주세요. 어 안녕하세요. 이번 Dallas Fuel에 합류하게 된 네네 에디슨이라고 합니다. 네. 영어로도 가능할까요, 에디슨 선수? 어안 됩니다. <웃음> Okay, all right. I asked Edison if he could do the intro again in uh, in in 
uh, in English, and he said no, very firmly. So yes, Edison did say, oh, <laughs> "Hello, my name is Edison. I play a DPS for Dallas Fuel." Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna ask you again next time. 다음에 한번 이제 다시 한번 물어보도록 하겠습니다. 네네네. So um, I want to start off this interview, Edison, uh, with a question about your comp, uh, with your composition, Dallas Fuel's comp. Um, you guys have been using a lot of Reaper Zarya composition over anything else. Um, do you believe that is the superior, the best composition right now in the current meta, even over? something like uh, Winston Tracer dive that, that other teams are uh, heavily relying on. Uh, 일단 첫 번째 질문은 달라스 팀이 좀더 이번에 지금 좀 조합적으로 어, 이 자리아 리퍼 조합을 좀 굉장히 많이 쓰고 있는데 어, 그런 이유가 아무래도 지금 현 메타에서 그 조합이 제일 좋다고 생각해서 그러는 건지 아니면 좀 특별한 이유가 있나요? 어, 일단은 그 조합 자체가 좋다고도 생각하기도 하고 이제 지금 많은 팀들이 윈스턴을 쓰고 있는 상황인데 그 윈스턴 조합을 깰수 있다고 판단을 해서 그 조합을 계속 쓰고 있습니다. 네. Alright, so first of all, yes, I do really think that um, you know this Zarya Reaper composition is probably one of the best, uh, or it's a good composition in the current meta that we are playing on right now. And not only that, um, like Daddy said or like I said. Um, a lot of teams are really using a lot of that Winston dive composition and this Zarya Reaper composition is a composition that is really good for countering uh, or breaking that composition uh, in team fights. So that is why we, we, are, we are relying more on Zarya Reaper composition. All right, second question, a lot easier for you. I'm just really curious, Edison. Um, is there a, a team, like a rival team that you think is sort of on the same level as Dallas Fuel. So if you could pick a, pick a Dallas Fuel's rival team, which team would it be and why? 두 번째 질문은 어... 에디슨 선수가 보시기에 이번 달라스 팀에 좀 라이벌 팀이 있다면 어떤 팀이 있을까요? 어 저번에 경기했을 때 글래디가 되게 많이 까다로운 상대였기 때문에 아마 글래디가 조금 힘든 것 같아요. 네, 네. 라이벌 팀인 것 같습니다. Um, as for rival team, I think I'll have to go with the Los Angeles Gladiators. Uh, last time that we played, um, you know, we had a difficult time dealing with them, and you know, they got they gave us really a hard time uh, throughout the match. So for our rivals currently, we do have. I think it's going to be the Los Angeles Gladiators. All right, Edison, thank you so much for your time again. Big congratulations on the win, and see you next time. 자 이걸 인터뷰 마치겠고요. 감사합니다, 에디 선수. 안녕히 들어가세요. Bye bye. 감사합니다. Got a wave back. Yes, yes, yes. That's success. I did it. Yeah, he did it. He did it. Uh, and so did the Dallas Fuel do it. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. They, um, they, they did do it. Uh, no, great performance, of course. It's uh, it's fantastic to see them back on track. I mean, uh, some people might have been a tiny, 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 tiny bit worried, you know, um, at the very beginning of the season that the Dallas Fuel took an L. But they're back. Nothing to worry about. And now, speaking of being back, we of course once more get our analysts in to dissect all the action. Now, I personally would have hoped uh, for uh, for a little closer match, uh, Scott. It was a one-sided affair. Uh, are you still okay with the performance that Toronto Defiant has shown, or do you think they? Quote unquote underperformed. I, I think the Toronto Defiant didn't understand how to deal with the Dallas Fuel and the Zaya composition. And you can't really hold that against them because no one has really been able to work out how to beat that. It's just such a, a different way of playing the game. They tried to come in, play their Winston style with, you know, subbing in although to play, you know, the Tracer and sort of some of the other roles as well. And they just never seemed to get going. Every time they tried to do anything, this happened. All of a sudden, there's an Edison in your backline with a bubble and a Death Blossom. And it just felt like Edison and uh, Hanbin were able to just move around the map for the, however they wanted. And no matter what the Torrent Defiant threw at them, they always just got met. I think on this Oasis map specifically, that's where they saw the most trouble. It felt like they had so many winnable fights, but they were just struggling to close out because of that defensive nature of the Zaya. So, you know, this, you know, it's... I don't think you need to start worrying if you're a Toronto Defiant fan. No one's been able to beat the Dallas Bill right now. You need to look at this, grow from this, and maybe try and start learning how to play it themselves. They did want to put Hotbar on that uh, Zaya as well for Kings Roy, and it looked okay. It had its good moments. They can definitely lean on this in the future as well.
Uh, reinforce, do you think uh, that uh, Dallas Fuel actually has something else in their back pocket as well in case that Saria Reaper composition is not working out for them uh, anymore? Do you think they, they got something else? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty funny, I suppose, because we th played like three different compositions if you're the Toronto Defiant this time around. First off, you started playing the Winston composition on Oasis, and then you're like, oh, we're gonna go to King's Row and play some Saria. And then, well, let's play some Sigma while we're at it too, and just see, like, bring out the whole arsenal. Uh, the only thing we're missing is Orisa. Still haven't seen any Orisa, so Toronto Defiant, if you could get on that, uh, I I'd appreciate that. Um, no, but I, th I, th I think the Dallas View will have plenty of looks. Um, I would have liked to see them perhaps be a bit more dominant when it came to the Sigma composition we saw here the last map obviously like dominant yes they full held the Toronto Defiant what more can you ask for but it felt partly that like it was the Edison show it felt like Edison on the Tracer was just wreaking havoc and pretty much carrying that entire map Gurio he didn't really get on fire we didn't really see Gurio have tons of impact in that Widowmaker duel even though he hit Hiso a couple times um, they weren't being overly aggressive which I guess is a good thing if you're playing that slower Sigma Sanyata type of composition um, but I'd like to see them, you know, get, get into the groove when it comes to those slower compositions as well. And at that point, I mean, the Dallas Fuel, you can play the Winston compositions on stuff like Gibraltar with Fearless um, heading the spear. You can play the Saria compositions on Eichemalde, and you can play the Sigma compositions while they're at it as well. So Dallas Fuel, it looks like they're super well-rounded. It looks like they're integrating all of their players, whether it's Edison, Doha, Sparkle, or even Gurio now as well on Escort map. So the Dallas Fuel, they're looking prime for a, a great ending to this kickoff clash as well yeah it's good to know that they have such a well-rounded team with no holes currently uh, to be spotted for us and as you said it was a pleasure to actually see uh most of the players today getting some time in the sun as well so a good first look at guri there as well uh yeah so dallas fuel is going to take the w and that is just one of the many exciting things that happened today so once more we want to bring you our best of the day it felt like a really short one uh, granted yeah. there were some some dominant performances of individual uh, of teams but also individual players and one of them uh, made it into my best of the day and that is of course decay I mean okay excuse me but he's literally like, like just a, a living and breathing pulse bump at this point like he literally <laughs> stuck them all uh, Khan must, Leave just, Khan must have nightmares at oh, this yeah. point. I know, right? Like, at one point, it felt personal. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. There we go. It's a poor guy. Khan just, like, got the brute force of it. But um, DK was phenomenal on that tracer. He was uh, landing those pulse bumps, and he had them ready for every single engagement. And he opened up so many good fights for his team uh, with, with just his aggression, his flankings, like, being able to constantly be in those back lines. And having that constant pressure applied, like that, was just phenomenal. Check I'm, PC. yeah, che I should check his PC actually. Yeah, Scott, whose PC would you have to like? Uh, what? Well, well, it's kind of funny because checked? it's also decay. That, it's, <laughs> it's it's also decay. Oh, so oh, I, I don't, don't want to feel like I'm stepping on your toes <laughs> over here, but it's not just decay. I want to talk no, about no, the Washington Justice on this King's Row <laughs> overtime attack. The the amount of like. Touching that Decay did of the card to keep it in overtime. And then he the, the communication here from Mag as well. Mag came in, touched the card. The team was just coming. And that just gave them time for their team to get back on spawn. And then once again, Khan gets stuck in true Decay fashion in this match. Uh, and Decay just lived and lived and lived. And he just kept getting more and more kills. He just kept picking up that mega health pack. And then he ended up clutching out this fight. So this is the first of many fights that Decay ended up, you know, winning for the Washington Justice. And it, you know, true to what Johnny said in the pre-show, Decay's back, like 100%. He looks confident, he looks comfortable in the heroes that he's playing, and it looks like the team around him is, is enabling him to do that as well. So, I, I, that was the same one, but I still feel bad for Khan. That feels like I could just watch that on replay over and over again. Like it's like yeah, it's pretty rough. I, I, I actually do so. Ah, uh, low key hero of that fight, though, even though we didn't see it in the clip, was Dredro. Yeah, he, he stayed alive, he stayed <laughs> on that payload, he really tried his best, didn't manage. But he tried, and, and I respect that. Now, uh, Danny, who won your heart today? Well, mine's also Decay. No, actually, that's not. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the same, it's okay it's the same hero. Same hero, Tracer. Same but, thing, uh, yeah. But it's from uh, New York itself here, Yaki. And mine's not really a happy one. You see Yaki here on Iron Wall just, I think, trying to get a kill with that pulse button, just waiting for that perfect moment. <laughs> and then from the back, boom! Hydra just kills him! And look at his the reaction, the pain! The sadness in his face! <laughs>
I love these kind of stuff. <laughs> I, I just absolutely love player reactions. This one is almost delayed too. Like he couldn't yeah. believe yeah. that he actually it died. Him, it took him a, a second to. Yeah, it's like oh, I what just, just I just died. Yeah. It's the moment of I'm so the stupid. Of like why? Like hey, they can come from the other yeah. side as yeah. well. How did I not think That's of this? <laughs> Uh, Johnny, what tickles your fancy today? Uh, well, I mean, there's too much Tracer going on here in the best of the day. So g give us someone else. Give us someone else. Can we have someone else? Oh, no. Just give us someone. Oh, oh, there's someone. Oh. Look at someone oh. popping up oh. at the end of the match. We love that as well, the reaction. Uh, very emotive character, Rookie, here. Uh, coming into the league this season. And I think he had a fantastic game. So, so is laughing at my puns. That's when you know you got like the, the, the mark of effect right there. No full anime, I, no holding I'm back. I'm fist pumping IRL right now. I'm, I'm uh, so glad. I impressed so with a pun. That made my oh, day. That's my new best of the day. <laughs> but look at someone. He's popping up. I think someone had a fantastic a series uh, overall. We're really seeing some of these Winston players come alive in this current meta as well. Being able to control space, um, to create space for the rest of your team, and battling with the enemy Winston. So someone doing a great job. Thank you, someone. Someone's gonna make him a TikTok. He would pop off on TikTok with all these dances he's doing right oh, now. Actually, like, as well, yeah. after the game. This was like, yeah. I think we should, we we should did it. put his dancing. We did it. And put a music, music under it. Yeah, someone, someone clip that and then yeah. and, and make that a loop with some some fancy music. Also, I love that someone had to go in to stop someone from dancing. <laughs> yeah. oh. like, I gotta hug this. Just That's stop someone. it. It's like just yeah. someone, someone gotta go in. Uh, now we of course have more highlights coming your way tomorrow. So let's take a look at the schedule to see which games await. And uh, of course we're gonna have some more bangers well. coming your way. Maybe not the first one, but still. Uh, we have the hey. Outlaws going up against the London Spitfire to warm things up. You never know, Johnny. Well, no, I want to hear Johnny's point. I want to hear uh, more than just hate. One, I want to know Johnny's point, Johnny. What are you, you going to say? <laughs> How are you going to defend the London Spitfire here? <laughs> they, they play Brawl. That's, a, that's all you got. Just play Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, tune in tomorrow to find yeah. out, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, Bro. the second match has to be a marquee matchup. Yeah, Gladiators so versus the San Francisco Shock. Uh, we said it in the Shock's last match, like, this is the first true test. Of it. But this one is the actual <laughs> test. Of um, I'm dreading making my pick for tomorrow already. Yeah, I'm not going to lie about one. that, that one. Tough. Yeah. Um, are you guys also just hyped for the second match? I mean, Johnny, obviously very excited about the first one. What about you, Scott? No, it has to be the second match. It's like, if the San Francisco Shock dispatch of uh, the LA Gladiators, then all of a sudden we, we no longer doubt them, right? Everyone keeps saying Gladiators is their rival. There must be something going on in the Scrimbox exchange that's saying that Gladiators are a team to beat. So that match today, uh, tomorrow, sorry, is going to be an absolute banger. You should be there. You made it sound so like yeah, London saying, Houston was like my favorite matchup. Uh, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear all about that Houston London matchup from you uh, tomorrow in force. I expect a little bit of a essay uh, for the precap for I'll that get one. On it. And now uh, I have to give you some time, yeah, exactly, to get on that uh, case. Uh, so you got a few hours. We're done here with the Watchpoint uh, post show. Thank you all so much for joining. Uh, Costa Reinforce, it was great to have you, um, even though you got stuck in a box. But <laughs> we, still, we still have you on the show. So that is fantastic. Danny wants more. You're just my best friend. And that's how things are. Uh, we hope everyone enjoyed our show. Make sure to tune in again tomorrow at 11.30. PT in the morning for our Watchpoint pre-show, where we'll talk about all the fantastic matches coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and bid you a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.